this is probably my favorite uh, segment or <laughs> after the comic segment. Yes. It is time for lights, camera, action figures. And this week, uh, I have loved, loved, loved. You've probably heard me talking about it. The series The Witcher, whether it's the video games or it's the Netflix series The Witcher, I am super on board with. And the, just this week, we've got in the Series 2 Witcher action figures by McFarlane. And the first one up, we have none other than Suri. And she is kind of the ward slash apprentice of Geralt of Rivia. We haven't seen what uh, she can do yet in the TV series. I'm really looking forward to that in December. But if, if you've played the video game or if you've read the books, you know that she is a powerful, powerful mage, and she is being trained as a witcher. Great figure. Um, let's take a look at what she looks like here. This is her. Each figure does come with a stand and a couple of accessories, right? But very good face sculpt and stuff. Very true. These are the figures for the video game, guys. Uh, so uh, maybe they will do the Netflix versions uh, later on. Uh, and it's here you can see a accessory that is kind of her using the electricity the energy of the sport she can kind of teleport and move really really fast but yeah the packaging is great on the figures i'm having a set for myself because like i said i love all things witcher i'm gonna crack these open uh this weekend but here let's go and take a look at the main man himself Geralt of rivia uh and here in this version so this is the second version of the figure and of course just like the game, he, there's many different types of armor. He's got a trophy with him. He's got his signature two Witcher swords. And, of course, he has got an extra hand that allows him to add the accessory of that little fireball, the the signia, the sign. I think it's called Igni. Uh, but, yeah, very, very cool. Um, the one thing I will say about the Geralt figure um, is that the, the paint application is very very good but it is a little bit flat you don't get a lot of details popping out you can really see that in this image but what i'm probably going to do as a person who does paint a little bit and do uh for, for warhammer and some other miniature games probably going to take this particular figure and just get a nice black ink wash and go over the pants and his uh torso uh, armor piece there so it'll seep into those lines and you can really then see make it make it pop if i get ambitious i might you know jazz up the swords a little little bit uh but uh yeah this this figure line mcfarlane has really really outdone himself uh the packaging is cool uh the figure is cool i i really i really like him um and i guess i'm super stoked for the witcher <laughs> to be coming out in what like less about less than a month or maybe about a month away man I think it's that is going to be so oh i'm hoping it's awesome i love the first season i've watched it like three times already i love it love it so uh yes lights camera action figures now that is not the only McFarlane figures. He released a whole bunch of stuff. We've got it all at the store. You can check us out on our website, heroesworld.ca, for all the action figures. Or drop on by the store. So much to see there. Um, but last but not least, you know, we know we're coming up on our time here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the newest Magic the Gathering release. So we have the return to Innistrad with the new set Crimson Vow. So if you are into Magic the Gathering, you know that the theme of Innistrad is vampires and the previous set dealt with werewolves. So we're getting into that horror and Halloween theme uh, and stuff. Last week, we had the pre-release packs come out and the pre-release packs gave you a kit with enough cards to build a deck out of there and face off other people and this is what they called a sealed deck format you're not drafting you're building the deck with the cards here and now you can now get draft booster packs collector booster packs as well as set booster packs plus the bundle as well as commander decks but let's take a look at some of these cards Great set. They did Wizards of the Coast did a fantastic opening video, Jesse. I don't know if you saw that for it, no, but it's really cool. Vampire theme has always been top, top notch in magic. And just look at the art and look at the, the cards. Just freaking amazing. What we're looking at here 
are some of what they call the mythic rares, and these are the planeswalkers and some of the legendary creatures uh, within the game. So Wizards of the Coast outdoing themselves. Another great set. This theme, Innistrad, been very popular. This is our third Innistrad set, uh, and it continues to entertain. So if you're a Magic the Gathering player, you know that that set dropped today, this Friday, and you probably already got some or on your way to get some because this weekend you're probably going to be either doing some drafting or some playing or building a new deck or checking it out. And that's what it's all about.